So this time we're going to make a die with our micro bit. Why would we want to do that? Uh, well, we thought this would be a, a good example where you use an input and an output. So when you, you can say, OK, well, when this happens, then I want this other thing to happen. So if we look to the case of a die, I hold it in my hand and I roll it. Mm. And a number is presented on the die. And that number is a random value, usually on a normal die, from 1 to 6. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to do on the micro bit. Yeah, except that this one doesn't really roll properly because it's not, uh, not a cube shape or anything like that. So we'll have to simulate that. And a way of doing that on the micro bit, obviously, is uh, using the sensors on it. Mm -hmm. uh, and in the code, the microbit.com um, editor, there is a block for shaking the yeah, microbit. Exactly, yeah. So we can use that. And after that, we want to show a number, I guess. And then the number shown should be this random value from 1 to 6. So exactly. where do we start? Let's start with the, the shaking part. So. The shaking part, the input. Yeah. So we have a, a category here in the editor for input. Uh, and looking there, I see, yeah, on shake. Mm -hmm. So let's take that one out. So this block means when you shake your micro bit, uh, it will run all the blocks that you put inside of this one. Yeah, because it's like a small, <coughs> it's shaped in such a way that you can put other blocks inside, inside of it. Uh, so inside of that, we would want to put this show number mm. uh, block. And that I think we will find here, yes, in the basic category, show number. But if I put in this zero and I try it here in the simulator, it just shows the zero. Yeah. So we will need something more inside of this light blue area where the zero is. Yes, because we want to show a random number. So let's see what we can find. If we go to the math category and have a look, we see this, yeah, pick a random zero to four. Mm. Zero to four. And I can only edit the one with the four here. So if I set that to five, then I have zero, one, two, three, four, five sides on the die. So that means we have six numbers, except that it starts at zero. Yeah, so we would want to add one mm. in order to make it one to six. But I think I saw that in the math category uh, up here. There's this other block where you can assign a number together with another number. Mm. So if we take this uh, random zero to five and put it inside, uh, oops, sorry, no, if we put this one inside of the show number. That's where we're going to put it. And I put the pick random 0 to 5 inside of there mm -hmm. and add no. 1. Now we can do plus 1. So what it says now is show a number, and this number is going to be something from 0 to 5 plus 1. So it's going to end up being 1 up to 6. Yeah. And that's what we want. So if I put that inside of the on shake command mm -hmm. and I try the simulator, it seems to work. If I try it a couple of times here, I see that we get random values. Oh, we even get a six. And we got a six. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the only thing left now, as we know that it works, is that we need to download the code and we need to put it inside of the micro bit. Cool. And I go to the finder inside of the computer and find the code on the micro bit and I drag it down here to where the micro bit is. Mm. You can see here on the back side that the light is blinking. That means that the file is being transferred. And when the light stops blinking, it's the code ready to should shake. be up. So if I shake it, we'll have a look and see how it works. Yeah, a four, four. and a one. So it seems to be working mm -hmm. uh, in the same way here. Yeah. So in this way, we can make a, a die uh, with our micro bit. Uh, but I guess there's several ways of going about doing this. We, we chose one way of, of building a die. Yeah, exactly. There are a lot of different ways you can do. Uh, you can build your own die. Uh, and you can also think about, like, okay, what kind of die do I want? Uh, in this case, we have numbers 1 to 6. But maybe you want one where you have dots instead of numbers. 
uh, or maybe you want a die that has a different set of numbers. For example, they can even go up to 20 or 100 or whatever fits you. So uh, have a go, try out making a die and see what way you want to make it. <laughs>